Samsung's next big move with One UI 8.0 largely depends on how well Beta 2 performs. If Beta 2 is smooth and user-friendly, Samsung could open up the beta to more devices, think Galaxy S24 series, Z Flip 6, and Z Fold 6. But if Beta 2 runs into glitches, Samsung might hit pause and focus on refining the experience for the S25 series with Beta 3 before expanding. There's also talk about Samsung reducing the initial Wave 1 countries for the One UI 8 beta from 7 to just 4. While this could speed up the stable release, it might delay beta access in important markets like India and Poland. Beta 2 is mostly about bug fixes, small improvements, and bringing the June 2025 security patch. It might also be the update that finally opens beta access to India and Poland. For users, the stability of Beta 2 will directly affect when they get to test One UI 8 features. If all goes well, expect devices beyond the S25 to join the beta by late June or early July 2025. Here's a rough rollout roadmap for flagship Galaxy devices. Galaxy S25 series, beta started May 28 in US, UK, Germany, South Korea. Beta 2 expected mid to late June, possibly expanding to India and Poland. Stable release after Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7 debut in July-August 2025. Galaxy S24 series, beta expected late June to early July 2025. Two to four beta updates through July and August. Stable release in August-September 2025. Galaxy S23 series, better rollout early to mid-July 2025. Two to three beta updates July-August. Stable in September-October 2025. Galaxy S22 series, beta start mid to late July 2025. Might skip beta or get one to two updates in August. Stable in September-October 2025. If bugs persist, older devices could be pushed back to beta 3, delaying stable updates beyond July 2025. The good news? Samsung has officially confirmed stable One UI 8 is coming this summer for Galaxy devices. What do you think about this timeline and Samsung's approach? Are you excited or cautious? Let me know in the comment section. Samsung is preparing to roll out a new beta update for the Galaxy S25 series. The One UI 8 Beta 2 might remove the predictive back gesture feature from the system. The predictive back gesture lets users see a preview of the previous screen when swiping from the edge. It helps with smoother navigation, however it could be taken out in the upcoming beta for the Galaxy S25 series. In One UI 7, this feature only works in Google Apps. It doesn't function in Samsung's own apps or others. Well, last week signs pointed to Samsung adding this handy feature to more apps in the new One UI 8 beta for Galaxy S25. Now, new info via Tarun Vats suggests Samsung may have removed it. The video he shared no longer shows the predictive back gesture even inside the settings app. Still, it appeared in an earlier internal One UI 8 beta build, so the removal isn't confirmed. Samsung may have just disabled it for more testing purposes. Samsung is planning to release the One UI 8 beta for the Galaxy S25 series soon. Alongside the new beta, it may extend the One UI 8 beta program to more regions like India and Poland, and possibly more devices. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.